welcome to the project demonstration of iot control stepper motor with step uh, count and direction controlling system so here we have interfaced the four wire stepper motor to the esp32 uh, module by using this uln2803 stepper motor driver so that was interfaced at the pin numbers of uh, transmitting pin d5 and uh, d18 and d19 pins of our esp32 and directly it has an inbuilt wi-fi module so that from the ip address from our phone to wi-fi we are going to sending the commands to the system and it will decode that uh, commands and it will control the stepper motor uh, step steps as well as the direction controlling uh, by uh, giving the same signal to this uln2803 stepper motor driver and here we are using this board as a breadboard so the purpose of this breadboard is we need to provide the 5 volts power supply to the motor driver as well as to our ESP32 module. So in order to distribute the 5 volts power supply we are using this and here we are providing the 5 volts input as a, that is regulated power supply from this adapter. This adapter will take the 230 volts inputs and it will provide the 5 volts 2 amps of power constant regulated power supply and that was distributed throughout this board so that we are distributing 5 volts power supply to the driver and 5 volts power supply to our ESP32 module so let us see the demonstration so before switching on this kit we need to uh, enable the hotspot with the name of so go to hotspot settings in your phone and there change the hotspot name to project 4856 without any capital letter without any space and a passcode 129 so this is very important check twice so once it was done and uh, enable the hotspot along with data sorry no head of data so enable the hotspots and now we need to install one more one more application network analyzer so this is the network analyzer application icon so we need to install it from the play store <coughs> so now i enable the hotspots right and now switch on the power supply to the cage there we can see one device is connected over here right one device is connected and now go to our network analyzer app and go to application and uh, option scan so there do the scan so there we can get the ESP so 192.168.43.114 note on the IP address and now go to the Google Chrome right and uh, enter this IP address 192.168.43.114 which we got from the network analyzer so right enter then we can see this HTML page which will take the inputs so initially we need to set the direction either clockwise or counterclockwise and enter the number of steps so our stepper motor is 2048 steps per rotation so now I set the direction clockwise and uh, number of steps and next go when we enter that we can see the motor status also motor status is now it stopped so now motor is spinning and we can see the visualization on the mobile phone screen also so it will complete one rotation complete rotation in 2048 steps and I'm changing the direction counterclockwise same so we can see the same presentation on our HTML page. This HTML page developed with the JavaScript language. Right. And next. So just I want to enter 200 steps in same counterclockwise. Same counterclockwise. Just I want to write that. Right. So the main purpose of this project is in real time industrial applications like paper cutting machines or visiting card making machines at which size you need to cut the particular uh, paper or a cloth. So then we need to control the stepper motor steps. So this is very useful in that real time industrial applications. Thank you.